I switched controllers between recordings. Everything's much better now. Hello, box. Yes, it is. Yeah, I know how the box works. Why would you, though? You can't use that as if they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. My god! This was written by a monster. Yes, love box. I need slightly more healing items. Uh, worry about that next time, I guess. Yeah. Scary. I have to go down there for exploration's sake. Oh, this is slightly more in depth than I thought it would be. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. More cameras. Is that all we got though? Hit me rock. Oh, nothing? Oh shit. A tutu lying on the ground here. Sure. Maybe it'll make me dance prettily. Uh choo choo. Defense ten. Finally a protective piece of armor. Yep, uh, sure. What the other thing do even? Armor defense seven. Yeah, it's just, okay. Just a little better. Hello. Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? D did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. Fought them valiantly. Uh, what? D did I capture them? Uh, well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? And I, you don't have to destroy them. You, you, you see. Uh, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Hey, buddy. There's no response. Uh oh. Uh, look away, please. Just this once. They're totally gone now. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That... was awesome! You're so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Uh... You're very clumsy. Also, what bad guys? The entire point of this thing is that all of you monster people, like... ...really don't violence well. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge sees the line in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Carry it on my head. I'm very talented. Yeah. And now we have a bridge. Aaron flexes in. Uh, not today, Pac-Man. Tell Aaron to go away. You'll change your mind. I don't think I will. This is so much better. <laughs> Aaron's admiring his own muscles. You flex. He flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest, okay? Flex more. 
Ugh. Oh, it's, oh, it's sweats what that is. Oh, gross. Fuck it, let's go flex harder. Very strong. It's ready for your next flex. He flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Hooray! I desire to read you, sign. How do I read sign? This is how I read sign. I did say better, not perfect. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Hooray! If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. And then you float. I could- no, I can't do anything there. I could toss them down there, but I have no way of knowing where they'd end up. This music feels oddly, like, serious. I like it. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? We exchanged phone numbers earlier, bro. It was easy. I just dialed every number and then found yours, I think. I hit the button way too fast. <laughs> so, uh, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yes? So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. I think he's trying subterfuge. A long time ago. How one kick my this? Monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish could come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washa shuffles up. Hello, Washa. Uh, would you like to clean? You ask Washa to clean you. It hops around excitedly. I, I was told my 2D was dusty. Green means clean. Okay. What? Man, they're so far away. I have become cleaner. Watch this, friends of a little bird. And now me, I guess. Hooray! Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look at the telescope? Yes. Check wall. Okay. Which wall? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Yeah, because they don't really move. Wow. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Uh oh. Why the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong and take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul, I am a god. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. Okay. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. But really, that doesn't seem to be something you'd have to worry about because... it take all of them to equal one. Unless, you know... They die of old age or something. Does that count as... requirements for taking? No? Monster of a human soul, horrible beast of unfathomable power. 
an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. But what does it look like? It's too unsettling to tell. HP Lovecraft. Can't even tell. Too spooky. And now I'm spooked out. Okay. This can't go wrong. Oh. This has gone wrong. Run. Don't stab me. Yeah. Blah. Uh -huh. Too quick for you. Gotta be faster than that. Go prone. Roll away. Oh shit. You got him by the eye. Just walk away, hide your shame. That's right. Thank you, unfortunate friend. You okay? Did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little to the left. Yo, yeah, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. That poor kid. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. Stuck to the table. Squeak! Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. Fills you with determination. And then I forgot to save. There we go. Jurassic Park situation, but with cheese, maybe? What's up, dude? Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally, uh, 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. That's about it. Sure. Why is everything red? And the stars have disappeared from the sky. Is the cap on? Oh. Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. Thanks, man. Uh, get in the back. Hello. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Well, either that or a uh, piece of the field of lavender. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a nice cup of punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. Would you like an ice cream? It's just really expensive. Tell your friends, there's ice cream hidden in the, the depths of a watery cavern. Uh, this way first? Duck. Guess not that way first. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. This way? Maybe not. You walk in the mold small. You win. <laughs> Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend you wanted to know? Her opinion of you is very, uh, murdery. But I bet you knew that already. 
And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. And Dusty too too. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Uh, not as much as you might think, friend. Pair of ballet shoes. Yes. Now I can be pretty ballerina. I like the music, but it feels weird in this area that's not populated. Like, it, it kind of sort of has that cave vibe, but it's much more of like an imperial settlement, you know? I mean, being here with all these reeds and lily pads, I forgot what they were called. Cattails and lily pads. Seems a little weird. Passing conversation. Don't say that, come on. I promise I won't laugh. See if they laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Uh, kinda scary. Hello? Hello? You, uh, need something? Hey, uh, there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Okay. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, this is okay. It beats moving through the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Uh, and the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I, uh, that's okay though, you hear? And then it's gonna fix everything, you hear? Wanna get out of here? And I live in the ocean, you hear? Oh, okay, man. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. I have a good time. Waterfall. Nice interaction, Onion San. Ah. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Um, um. Okay. Ah. Music. Shiren taps a little beat of her fans. Hum hum. You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. See me, see me, see me, see me. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Smile. You're asked to see Shiren smile. She gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. No! Okay, let's just hum for a bit. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly it's a concert. I know this is dangerous, but let's see what we can make him. See how happy we can make him. And the song tickets made a toilet paper. Yeah, the enterprising capitalist. Hum some more. Since you're sold out, you feel like a rock star. I'm not in any real danger, am I? Good. Crowd tosses clothing in a storm of socks. Oh no! Come some more. With constant attention. Tourist, the groupies, it, it's all. Aggressive tooting. Sharon thinks about her future. 
Baby runs wildly. Crowd eats up. A little too wild. We need to calm down. She thinks about her future. Give a darling smile and a little wink. Crowd goes wild. Who are these aggressive tooting towards? You and Siren have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. No. It was us against the world. <laughs> oh. Now I'm sad. Northern Rune hides a great treasure. Loot? Piano here, play it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to play. Like I could brute force it or find somewhere to actually get the notes, but I don't feel like it. Oh, it's right here. Statue. The structures at his feet they seem dry. Please take one. Here you are. The music box begins to play. Okay, that's enough. Let's do the thing. Puzzles. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Absolutely. You're carrying too many dogs. What? What? Knowing dog. Dog. Little white dog. It's fast asleep. What the fuck do I do with this? Deployed the dog. The dog observes the artifact. <sighs> well, that was a waste of time. I've already taken my one, so we're doing it this way now. Yo, can't hold an umbrella either. You're walking anyway. Guess I'll go with you. Let's go. Well, I had an umbrella, but I had to give it to the rock thing. And now I feel rude taking it away. I actually don't have arms, huh? Man, Undyne's so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. 
How often does she fight? <laughs> if I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, uh, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. You only care about violence. You are a child. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. We might be having to put that to the theory here soon. Put that theory to the test here soon. Nice castle. The sledge is way too high. Ah. Uh, wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Sure about this? You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Just, uh, like... I'll, I'll lower my hand, you bite it like a fish. Or not, that's fine. Three instead of a distant music box. Because you've determination. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. Yeah, that, that checks out. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United the humans were too powerful and its monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Huh? Oh. Hmm. That's not good. You almost hit me with those! Watch out! Oh no, a ferocious attack that I can dodge by stopping. I don't know how I'll ever survive this dastardly, dastardly trap you've set for me. Truly you are the greatest knight that has ever lived. Unmatched in brains and brawn. I was able to go the wrong way and you still can't touch me, neener neener neener. Getting a little faster. Is somebody getting upset? Oh no! Oh no, she's very upset! <laughs> there you go. Now just do the same thing you just did there, but with more intensity. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I'll go backwards. Could you be persuaded to step aside? Well, darn. You had me dead the rights and you let gravity decide it? Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Eric, huh? It's a nice name. My name is... Uh, I know what I should have done for the name. I'm stupid. 
It's the easiest character name ever. It's just the space. I just put it in censored. And then that way I never have to say it. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of trash will flow through. And fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage kills you with determination. Taking in worthless garbage kills fills you with determination. Being worthless garbage fills me with determination. Nothing can match my power. That's not a honk. That's still not a honk. I'll be the desktop. The inside's empty. The cooler. Restretch space food bars. Heck yeah. Take another one. Trash food, heck yeah. DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. This doesn't belong in the garbage. Seems like a regular training dummy. You wanna beat it up? No? Stare into each other's eyes for a moment. No, oh no, it's got the angry eyebrows. And both eyes are on the same side of his head. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin tried to live inside a dummy too. Till you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Uh, maybe don't. Mad dummy blocks the way. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem to be much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Hey, 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 Fuck. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, oh, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Mad dummy's looking nervous. Defeat you and take your soul. Okay. I mean, I just need to worry about your little minion's magic attacks, which... Yeah, that. Mad dummy's hopping mad. Well, you use your soul to cross the barrier. And then, what? Kill more people? Is that your end goal? I mean, that could be like a part of your goal. An armless ska dance, that's heresy. Stand in the window of a fancy store. So you want to cross the barrier so you can see human, like, frivolity? Bossing around its bullets. You're not doing very well about the bossing of the bullets. You're kind of getting shot by him an awful lot. <laughs> then everything I want will be mine. Getting caught in all over the dialogue box. I think that's his blood. Talk to the dummy. Not much for conversation. Yeah, I guess that'll, that'll avenge my cousin. You doing frivolous things like that makes them not as... Okay. Stop getting caught in all over the dialogue box. What was their name? Oh, this isn't for your cousin at all. You're just a hate monger. Whatever. Howie. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Are you trying to do like a JoJo amount of like saying your thing over and over? Hey, guys. Oh, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired, you're all being replaced. <laughs> Now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Oh man, you're doing this the wrong way, dude. Can I talk you down? Cause like... You're getting some weird shit in your head. Talk to the dummy. Not much for conversation. Dummy bot's magic missile! Magic me! Oh. They go off on their own. Glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same... Oh, you had to get it right first. Dummy bots, try again. 
Whoa. <laughs> Dummy bots, you're awful. Whoa, no, not the missiles. Fire. Dummy bots, final attack. 100% serious the entire time. It's the only answer. His own inability will be what causes the laughs. Oh no! I almost missed all of those! No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. He's got a knife! I've got knives! Who oh, no! Where'd he go? I'm... out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Ha 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 What the heck is this? Acid rain. Oh, forget it, I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, that was the blue. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Uh, I don't know. You, you guys looked like you were having fun. I, I just wanted to say hi. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, f feel free to come with if you want. But, uh, no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It, it's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Okay. Let's follow with your offer. Hey, uh, my house is up here. In in case you, you want to see. Or in case you, you don't. I feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. North Blue Cakers, East Hotland. Yeah, Timmy Village. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah. I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Okay. Really? No, shit. Especially since I'm my own boss. Really? I'm working. I don't want the boss to get mad at me. Especially since I'm my own boss. I see. See, I see. Do do do, be do be do be do do. Snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snail of Sam Buell. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Probably like a snail. Actually, traditionally, I think that they're actually pretty tasteless when prepared. Normally just serve as like a uh, vehicle for whatever they are being served in. Unless I'm totally wrong. Wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, if you, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. Tend you to play. Play? Play. Okay, press something repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? You got this. Go forth, Thunder Snail! Bring me victory! You can do it! Come on! Go! Go a little faster! 
I don't think I'm gonna win. <laughs> this could be anyone's game. Oh jeez. Nope, I've lost terribly. Damn it. We snail lost by a thin margin. Actually, the snail's under the false belief that it won. Oh. Oh no, the snail's looking over here. Uh, he, here, uh, uh, I'll give you some money. Act like you won. You got 30 G. You did it! I win! Awesome. Excuse me. It's locked. Hello. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. It, it's not much, but make yourself at home. Okay. Directly to the fridge. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. You want to try it? Yes. You attempt to buy into the ghost sandwich. You pass, you phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. You mean the ghost sandwich was a ghost? After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. The family tradition. You want to join me? Sure, dude. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up. We will lie here and be garbage. Together, friend. And our garbage shall transcend space and time. Unlocking the infinite possibilities. Behold the galaxies. Try to comprehend exactly how small and how large the universe is. All of our experience is condensed into one planet and infinite. Re uh, yeah. And infinite planets and galaxies exist. Yeah, I don't really want to <laughs> play with this too much right now. Cool. I am no longer garbage. Well, that was nice. Thanks. Still need to recover after I'm not lying down. Okay. I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. That's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. CD's labeled Ghoul Day Music. Play it. Sure. Okay. Spook wave. Okay. Spook tunes. Classic spook tune. They don't like they don't make songs like this anymore. Dang the ambiance. Like my whole body's been spooked. Yeah. Ghoul a day. This one, when it's still in the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Oh no, it needs to stop. This needs to end. I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Okay. Enjoy your time. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living? Oh. What? 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 It's a living. Are you the Flintstones thingy? Hello, bird.
Whoa there, got some neat junk for sale. What are you looking for? Crab apple. Make you go faster. Invincible longer. Invincible longer. These could make me a god. That looks like a nerd. But that's kinda par for the course if we're being honest. Uh let's see here. Dog residue. That away. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know where that goes. I know what it does. Tough glove. Snowman piece must be carried. I shouldn't need that. Right? Now then. Now I have much invincibility. Oh god, you hired a lore master. Tell me about yourself. Been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Hey, you know what that is? What are they teaching your kids in school nowadays? That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. The Delta Rune thing. That game that's not quite out yet. The emblem actually predates written history. Its original meaning has been lost to time. All I know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy. Oh yeah. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface of the sin from above and bring us freedom. Lately the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle of the angel of death. Harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, I'm you're sure you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. What I call Dream of Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Kandine? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. Watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. I bought items. They better save my hide. They were kind of really expensive. Oh no, I did a dumb. I bought two of the same items. I'm so stupid. Why did I buy that first? Uh, uh, so much money. I don't even need it. I can do just fine without it. Uh, but now I look like a dork. An anime dork. As opposed to the other variant of anime dork that wears like tutus and stuff. Oh. I see. Stuff that's in there, it's not an infinite box, it's just a box. Can I get rid of these things? Like, is discard an option? Toy knife was thrown away. Stick was thrown away. Okay, since I'm doing this. And the bandana thrown away. You bid a quiet farewell to the old tutu. Oh. Now, well, my friend. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground of a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings of a powerful soul can leave. So that means you can't. There's a lone way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. So like, are all human souls equivalent here? Or is there like a soul strengthening thing? Thinking about it, that actually makes sense. Because why would someone's 
learned abilities actually make a difference from the potential within them. We just kind of assume that the wizarding types are more powerful, but they just are harnessing it. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits, except for the big hole in the mountain. There's no way a human could come down here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mushroom. Special enemy Timmy appears here to defeat you. Oh no. Timflay? Timmy only wants the Timflakes. No, it's the hunger dice. Well, you yeah, fuck. Uh, you got weird legs. Uh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Timmy forgot her other attack. Tip, 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 tip. Stop, stop, stop it. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. You say hello to Tim. Holy, I'm Tim. Bleh. Tim Snake! Ow, hey, Tim Snake beat me! <laughs> He's trying to glomp you. Is that what that is? I think that means that we're friends now. Say hey, Tim. Hoy. Oh no! Should not have said hoy! Shit, 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 shit. Stop it, stop it, stop it! <laughs> I made friends with the Tim. Now I'm stuck in the darkness. Never again to see the light. <laughs> okay. Something tells me Timmy Village is somewhere nearby. Like it. Hi, welcome to Tim Village. Hi, I'm Tim. And this is my friend, Tim. Timmy, this is my friend, Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. Bob, hello, Bob. You should check out Tim Shop. Yeah, you Chris. You should check Tim Shop. Statue of Tim, very famous. You have no idea. Feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever it means. Uh, it symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my high fae. I struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Okay. P. Tim heard human allergics to Tim. But okay, Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Oh no. Tim, no! Hoifs. Oh, Hard boiled. Tim, watch egg. Egg, you hatch. Tim, proud parrot. You do that, Tim. Hoi, oh, welcome to the Tim shop. Tim Flake, Tim Flake on sale. Tim Flake, expensive. Tim, pay for college. College Tim pursue higher education. It's a thousand gold. But you, I can sell things to. Tell about yourself. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Tim. Tim of history? That's Tim's of a deep history. Welcome to Tim Shop. Oi. Mr. Box. I'm gonna have to come back here and pay for Tim College. You'll... something. <laughs> You're filled with determination. Take your save and go. Okay. Uh. 
Where is the actual route? How do I leave? Oh no! What kind of Moldsma? Uh... Moldsma is very normal. You approach Moldsma. Suddenly. Work. Oh jeez! Fuck! You are not a normal Moldsma! Moldbig needs some distance. Unhug. You don't hug Moldbig. He depreciates your respect of its boundaries. R. Oh, Mold Small and Mold Big. Who the thunk? Mold Big seems comfortable with your presence. You lie down. Mold Big lies down too. Mold Big understands life now. Where are? Stop trying to kill me, Mold Big. Uh, I'm dying. Mold Big seems comfortable with presence. Run away. Run back to Tim Village. Tim heal me. Tim heal. Tim, Tim and medic. Shit. Button wrong. There we go. I'll head, I'll better, I'll better. Thank you, Tim. Okay, now how do I leave? So I go up only to show me that the other pathway's right there and that's how I leave. Meanwhile I'm gonna get attacked by these fucking clowns. You ask Washa to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Washa, can you clean that guy too? Like on the inside though? Sounds like a muscle farm. Shoo. Okay, I'm gonna go away. Wow, spunky, love it. Ooh, no, I don't. Ouch. Sweating bullets. You're just gonna say that each time, aren't you? Education, hobby? Maybe I can just ignore you. Oh, you're just repeating dialogue. This isn't Dwyer King. Sometimes the water droplets go wrong. Okay, here we go. Don't hit me. Oh, don't hit me. 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 Nice safe spot. It makes him go away, okay? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him. Without oh, candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Touching the lanterns will make them restore themselves. Or I can just wander around in the dark. Uh, can I just leave, guys? I'm kind of on... Um, no, I don't... don't want to get hurt. There's soap. Known to cause lots of injuries, actually. <laughs> get you out of here. Wow. Oh, wow. Clean. Clean the number. Clean the number. Did clean? Oh god. This is fine. See?
Oh. Behind you. Ah. Uh. Hi. Eh? Seven. That's not the right voice. I'll get the right one in a minute. I'll figure it out. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king. King Asgore Dreamer. That's not right either. I don't know what the fuck to do here. He'll become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He'll finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we've endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Cool. Cool. Spears are scary. I'm dying. I'll help you fight. Good reaction time to stop. Yo, you did it. Undyne's right in front of you. Got front row seats to her fight. Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Hidden two dimensional grass. That's kind of impressive. Oh god. Passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. Your laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who's seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Man, you better hope that it's the one that frees everybody. Not the one that quote-unquote frees them. Cause that kind... That kind... would go very poorly for everyone involved. <laughs>